Architecture for Humanity is an organization that gets um, architectural and building professionals involved in humanitarian work around the world. We provide pro bono uh, construction services for communities in need. And our uh, work has ranged from post-disaster reconstruction um, to tackling issues of systemic poverty uh, through the built environment. Uh, Haiti was not an earthquake, it's an earthquake with hurricane season coming. And, you know, right now a lot of the media has been talking about the oil spill on the Gulf Coast. And they're all up in arms, what happens when a hurricane hits the oil spill? You know, well, it's going to cause massive environmental damage, but what happens when a hurricane hits, you know, a million people that are in plastic tents? We're not the first responders, you know, everyone talks about these first responders. We're the last responders, which means that we're committed from four months to four years after a disaster. And so we're actually in the, just in the beginning phases of the design and development of a number of schools, health clinics, and uh, communities. Europe is going to become more centralized around its cities. And so we're, we're left with these issues of, are we going to create these little jewels? You know, are they going to be these cities that only the middle class and the rich can live in and then you know the the poorer communities have to fend for themselves or are we creating kind of fair cities you know where there's kind of social inclusion and you know I would like to see a city that takes care of all levels of its society and how do we do that architecturally and how do we build kind of open and friendly environments that are welcoming um, not just for our citizens but for people from all over the world I believe that architecture is a political act when you're in the process of building something you know there's many architects who just come up with ideas I don't really believe in those architects I believe in architects who actually build things and when you build something you're making a either a positive or a negative impact on the planet and you're making a decision that affects the lives of a lot of different stakeholders and it's a political decision either on a uh, community scale or even on a personal scale so, you know, an architect looks at um, a, a disaster and they say, that's not my problem, I don't do that. They're making a personal political decision about whether they should get involved. When we're building buildings, when we're designing buildings, we're either affected by politics or we're shaping it. And I would like to see architects be more proactive and shape politics. Right now, my organization, you know, we have three people on the management, but I have 5,600 architects globally working on programs. What gets dangerous is when you have a large organi an organization that's centralized and makes decisions that adversely affect the lives of all the people working on it. How do you uh, change that model? You can't end it. You can't just say, okay, well, this model is not helping us progress. You say, how do we shape this model? How would we change it? And I think being more open and being more transparent in the way you work is the only way we're going to be able to run our businesses because people um, demand that.